M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Thought I'd do a video on an Enrico TM7 and just talk about network radios in general. So this is an Enrico TM7. It is actually an Android phone running. This model is Android 6, but I think the TM7 Plus runs Android 7. It also holds a phone SIM card running 3G or 4G, depending on your model. So let's look at the actual device. It's, it's quite a small device, but this is what I would call the base station or the car mobile version. You can get walkie talkies. I've got one in the background there and they, they come a lot smaller than this one as well. And they, the, the, the thing is they have a PTT. That is the whole point. It's an Android device with a PTT. Okay, that's the point of it. So let's just go back to this one. On the front here, we've got the volume control but the interesting thing is is that you have to program it to be a volume control out of the box it comes with the up and down arrows as volume controls as you can see there you've got pre-programmable buttons some of them when you get the item and turn it on some of them have pre-programmed settings but otherwise you can program them yourself and the program you use the free app you use is called button mapper you've got a back button here on off button you can see it's turned on at the moment SOS button really it's just another programmable button and you can push this button as well here you can push this button it's just acting as a select button so you see there my APRS droid has just come on so let's back out um, so to get this working initially just swipe down and then connect your Wi-Fi in the normal way as you would with any other phone or computer, username and password. You can also, it's very handy, I recommend that you get yourself a Bluetooth keyboard. I've got one here. I get one with a mouse pad. It's a lot easier with a mouse pad. Okay, get that. And then you can start to configure all these small little screen selections a lot easier using your mouse, mouse pad. So mine, if I press function then C when I turn it on, it goes into connect mode, which is doing now, and then you just see the Bluetooth, just drop down arrow there, turn on Bluetooth. Sometimes you might have to turn it off, then on. Oh, wrong button. And then it will come up with, when it searches, it will come up with wireless keyboard. You can go more settings. Available devices will show wireless keyboard look and now we've got a keyboard as well a lot easier and I'll just show you if I back out I'm using this is the back button here actually that's my I set that to be a home button so look you'll see my see my little mouse and obviously I can type things as well so the first thing you want to do is make sure you've logged into your play store so there's our play store here and when you're buying this item make sure you've bought one that has got the play store it's a lot easier so once you've logged into your Play Store, then you can start downloading apps. I'll show you the apps that I've downloaded. So we've got Echo Link. I've got a GPS app because I like to see the GPS satellites. On the back of this device, you do have a GPS antenna connector. And with many of them now, you tend to have a 4G Wi-Fi, sorry, a 4G connector. So if you look here on mine, it's only got the GPS. But here you could put your 4G and I think if you, you could add another antenna there if you wanted to for your Wi-Fi. And I have done that before, but I'm not going to do that today, of course. I'll just show you the power. Now with the newer models, the power cable is different. Mine is just a 12 volt supply that plugs in. But the newer models have a like a twin pin connector that screws on the back. So you can't yank it and cause damage to the actual device. And you'll see in a minute, it has a very loud speaker and it's, it's a very portable light unit. You don't, you, the reason it's great for the car is because it doesn't draw any amps at all. It's drawing what a phone would draw. So you're not going to, if you're not, if you're not running 50 watts, but the good thing is that there are apps where you can actually link into proper RF systems like Droidstar, um, pretty sure DV switch blue dv there's quite a few and there's the, the new ht app that comes with the vero 7500 you can run all these and you can actually control a radio using this device or link into a radio that is connected to different talk groups reflectors etc and and ordinary repeaters so i'm just going to add a app now just to show you so we go to the play store we're already logged in 
The app I want to app is actually called HT. It's for my Vero 7500. So I use my keyboard and I just put HT and then enter. It's a green one if it's there. Now I'm not sure if it will run on this old, this is Android 6, but there it is there. We'll try it, I'll tap it. And that allows me to control a radio that I've got here, 50 watt VHF, UHF radio. So that's the simple process for installing. I'm using my thumb, but I should use my... And of course, it's not super fast because this is the older Android. This is, this is the older model, but you can buy these. And um, this one was like £75, so you can pick these up at uh, quite a reasonable price now if you go for the earlier model. But I definitely advise you go for the TM7 Plus because you get 4G. It is a different microphone connector, which seems to be good. And I'll just show you the microphone. They, they tend to come with these quite chunky microphones, but the audio and the audio report is literally perfect from everyone I've spoke to. And that's what you'll find with the TM7 and the T320. It's perfect. So if we go back to the home screen, I've programmed a button and I'll show you this program that does program the buttons for you. It's called Button Mapper. So let's go to Button Mapper up there. Once you're on Button Mapper and you've enabled it, if you want to program a button, just scroll up till it says Add Button. Then go to the button you want to program. I'll press plus first. Then you would push the button you want to program. Let's just do this one here. We'll push it. All these are classed as buttons, you know. Even if it's a turning knob, it's still classed as a button, which is quite interesting. So we'll push this one. I've added a button. It's now going to allow me to program the push feature with something I want to push. I'll just cancel that a minute. Plus, then push. And the button, look at the button number, look, D-pad center 23, and it says it already exists. But if it didn't, you could, uh, you could program it. And what you do, once you tap it, you can turn on customize here. And then you've got three options, actually, single, double, and long press. So you've got three options per button. If you, this one's got volume at the moment. And look, you've got actions here, and each action will give you these options, look, quite a few. Then you've got, if you go, it's like sub menus, then you've got applications. So you can actually have a button that will give you a shortcut to something like Zello or Echo Link, one of these buttons, which I've already set. So you get the idea. So let's back out completely. I'll show you the shortcut working. So I've set them with two button to take me straight to Zello, hopefully. It's not gonna do it today, of course, because I'm making a video. Let's try number one. No, it looks like it's canceled them all out. So that's okay, but if you program one, you push it and it would have gone straight to Zello. So let's go to Zello itself and fire it up. Let's see if we can get it a bit dimmer. It's quite the screen brightness, swipe down and just, you can go up, up and down. It's a nice bright clear screen as well. So let's see if we can have a chat. Now there's a channel there that's not network net radios. So we're on Zello. Let's give a call through and see if uh, see if we can get a contact. M0FXB calling for a contact. You can see that, just the microphone. The good thing about Zello is you also get history. You can actually listen to yourself. I like that. And any other stations that may have called you. Now I use a group of channels called Network Radios. I'll put a link in the description. Let's go back to Zello. And if you don't want Zello to keep coming through when you go to other apps, go to the three dots. Oh, someone there. Options. PTT. PTT. And then all you do is go to the button that you've selected. Oh, we've selected the hardware button here. And then the little thing that says hold... Um, handle button in the background, untick it, and then you, when you do use things like Zello, so we go over to, say, Echolink, and you key, so Echolink's here, we just downloaded that in the normal way. And we'll go, we can do an echo test, tap echo, and then we can add it to favourites as well, go connect. 
Let's turn it up and we can go back to Zeta. This My server records should... your transmissions and plays them back to help you adjust your transmitted and received audio. Thank you. Please feel free to connect as often as you like. Here it goes. Hold it down. M0FXB test. Yeah, I'm trying to get hold of... Zero FXB test. Yeah, that, so that's working fine. If we go back to Zello. So that Zello did stay in the background. Let's also look at APRS Droid. So that's our APRS. We can send a position. There's configuration here as well. There's even a map. Let's find the map. I think it's that one there. No, that's a conversation. So we can send a message. Choose a call sign and send a message. We've got a back button here. People chatting there on Zello. Let's go back. Thank you for coming back. Call. We've got uh, other channels as well. We can select now. status solo, Thanks. Sorry, this, bye -bye. like so, status, and solo. Then we only hear the channel that we're on. Yeah. So if we're on this channel, we'll only hear that channel. Of course, you can add all kinds of channels. Uh, let's go back and we'll try peanut. So let's just go, we'll log out of Zello a minute. Sign out. Like so. We'll go to Peanut. So again, Play Store for Peanut. Just pe put in Peanut for hands. And the good thing about the TM7 is that it will let you use the mic the fist microphone. So we'll log into English and we'll give a call. There is a setup. You contact PA7LIM if you would like to get your passcode to use this. So M0FXB, M0FXB. Oh, it looks like we've still got, see that? We've still got... um. Echo link there, so we'll go M0FXB, back. M0FXB. <laughs> go back to Echo Link and we need to exit that. So yes. Good audio check though. So we'll go peanut here. Log in. M0FXB calling for an audio check. And if someone's monitoring, we've got the volume here. And you can put a SIM card in. You can also put an SD card in to expand the memory. There's no one there, let's go, let's exit. So we just log out. It does log out anyway, this one, like so. Now, another one you could try is TeamSpeak 3. I haven't installed that, so Play Store. Go back and do a search. And it's TeamSpeak 3. Let's delete it with my, see my keyboard still connected. Delete. Backspace. No, it's not connected, so we just go on my keyboard. Function, then C. And we should be able to just double check that it's paired. There it is there. Keyboard, select it. Connected. It's a lot easier. Then go Backspace and put in Team. TeamSpeak. Should be all you need now you do have to connect to a certain server for ham radio people but we'll install it anyway click install so these are the apps i use and the other really good one is droid star because with droid star you can easily get dmr d star fusion and even m17 let's see if i install droid star we'll hit the home button and i'll look for droid star can't see it there. So these are the apps that you should download. Let's just add Droid Star quickly back to the Play Store. You can add multiple selections. So backspace there. You can do all this from what this, and it could you know you can buy a handheld device, no problem. But this is the TM7. So there's Droid Star. Now with DMR, you do need to add this thing called a vocoder. You're basically putting in a web address, and it uploads this the pro the software that you need to be able to talk on DMR, but D-Star Fusion and, yeah, and M17, you just put in the seven, the, the settings, your call sign, and it just works. So I think that's about it for now. Let me just go back to Zello. Give another call out. M0 FXB calling on zero zero.
no one there. Let's try some history. You can actually send photographs. You do have to store them on the SD card. Let's go back to history here. Number radio two five six four. This is U three charge. Yeah. Good audio. Thank you for coming back. And remember, you can take my this call anywhere in the world. I'll just to check my radio. Thanks. Sound is this? Bye bye. Yeah, seven three, sir, chap. Seven three, sir. Yeah, you're coming through, uh, five seven three, anyway. Uh, M zero FXB. Oh, someone's calling me. Channel over. M zero FXB calling on zero zero. Let's go back. So, looks like someone was calling me, so we'll just give it a, a quick one, and then uh, see if anyone's there. Network radios has six channels. M0FXB calling for a contact. You've got car mode now, which makes the whole screen a PTT. Doesn't matter where you touch it, it works. It's, it's, the idea is, you know, you're not trying to find this little dot here. You can pair a Bluetooth you know, a Bluetooth device with it very easily just by Bluetoothing it. You get a Bluetooth selection there as well. If, to fine tune volume, you can tap here. Uh, this is Mike Frey, Kilo Golf Oscar, um, returning to M0, um, Andreas. There you go. Yeah, very good. It's quite nearly afternoon, isn't it? Back to you, you're coming through nice and clear. M0 FXB, uh, this is M3KGO, uh, name's Richard, and um, QTH would be um, near the city of Birmingham, um, Bromsgrove. Um, I d a few days ago I sent you that email um, about the um, Android, about the screen going off, staying on, um, if you remember. Like I said, the name's Richard, and um, I've actually... Um, just set Zello up on, um, on Windows PC using um, the blue stuff like you you put on your video. There you are. So, um, Works great. Uh, thanks for coming back. 7-3, all the best. 